You know those creepy and sometimes funny videos where a celebrity's face is put on an actor's body? Yeah, those are what we usually call deepfakes. Except deepfakes are specifically when machine learning and artificial intelligence are used to manipulate the visuals of a video. They tend to be way more realistic and way creepier. I find the concept of deepfakes very troubling for the future of information online, so let's check out some of the most bizarre deepfakes out there and see how crazy things really are. Spectre showed me how to manipulate you into sharing intimate data about yourself and all those you love for free. The more you express yourself, the more we own you. Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook are no strangers to all sorts of allegations, data mining, breaching people's privacy, and the mass influence of the public. As you can imagine, Zuckerberg has personally attracted a lot of criticisms and accusations. People are out there literally calling him a lizard person. With the growing power of deepfakes, the ability to attack those you disagree with has taken a whole new dimension. This clip was in response to Facebook's refusal to remove a certain video of Nancy Pelosi. It was created by artist Bill Posters, who posted it on Instagram. The truly insidious thing about this video is that if you can't tell it's a deepfake, you would 100% believe you just watched a video of Mark Zuckerberg admitting to a very popular criticism of his platform, that Facebook basically owns its users and manipulates them. The clip was originally part of Bill Poster's piece, which was intended to draw attention to how people can be manipulated by social media. It was made using Israeli startup Canny AI's video dialogue replacement software. I don't know. Killmonger was right. Or uh, Ben Carson is in the sunken place. The potential to make public figures say what you want doesn't get any more frightening when it's used on politicians that hold tremendous amounts of sway over the lives of millions. This right here is one of the most convincing deepfakes out there, and that's because of the amount of effort it took to put it together. It was created by BuzzFeed in conjunction with comedian Jordan Peele using Adobe After Effects and Fake App. There are several deepfakes out there, many of which you can immediately spot as fake. The most convincing ones, however, require the help of impersonators that mimic the subject's voice and gestures, as you can see from the clip. The comedian Jordan Peele's mouth was pasted over Obama's, replacing the former president's jawline with one that followed Peele's mouth movements. It's pretty obvious that all it takes is a concerted and dedicated effort by talented individuals and widespread deception, and misinformation would be child's play. In this age of nuclear warfare, I dare you to imagine the havoc that one really convincing deepfake by the most evil of instigators could cause. Think I'm being paranoid? Okay then, take a look. People love me because I'm a fair person. I'm the fairest person on earth. Speaking of the threat deepfakes pose when used to create political misinformation, what we have here is the first known case of a political party using a deepfake. Belgium Socialistische Partei Anders posted this video on Facebook back in 2018. Trump taunting Belgium for remaining in the Paris Climate Agreement might seem like something he would do, but I assure you this is completely fake. Trump's hair might look rather strange in the video, and his mouth movements might look crude, but we all know that put in the wrong context, many people would be willing to accept this bit of misinformation as fact. This is certainly not the most convincing deepfake out there, and honestly, it doesn't even have to be. At the end of the video, even fake Trump states that it is, in fact, a fake video. But all it takes is a clever bit of editing, and the reality of this video simply won't matter. Now imagine how things could possibly turn out if a deepfake of a politician was created by a political party with far more sinister ends. Politicians and celebrities are often the subject of deepfakes. Thanks to the sheer amount of pictures and videos of them online, there's plenty of source material for an AI to learn from and produce these deepfakes. But with the number of selfies the average person puts out on the internet, perhaps it's only a matter of time till we become a source for these AI. Perhaps it's already begun. What's up, TikTok? Got a little tip for you. Call it a uh, tip talk. <laughs> it isn't just politicians and billionaires that get deepfaked. 
Celebrities are by far the most deepfaked individuals out there. You can find all sorts of celebrity deepfakes on different parts of the internet. They range from silly to downright disturbing. But nine times out of 10, you can tell almost immediately that these are clearly fake. But then there's that one time. Hollywood actor Tom Cruise suddenly popped up on TikTok. He would showcase magic tricks, interact with fans, and generally goof off. But there was always something off about this Tom Cruise. It took a few videos posted to this TikTok account before users would come to realize that this was absolutely not Tom Cruise. It was instead an impeccably done AI-generated doppelganger that looked and sounded just like Tom Cruise, even down to his mannerisms. These deepfakes were created by visual artist Chris Ume, with the help of actor Miles Fisher, a man very good at Tom Cruise impressions. As you can see, deepfakes have come so far that there's now an entire TikTok account dedicated solely to Tom Cruise deepfakes. The mastery of the actor's voice and mannerisms, along with the use of rapidly advancing technology, means that pretty soon, we might not be able to trust news sources that report on public figures. Who knows what could be real or fake on the internet. AI 앵커가 전하는 MBN 주요 뉴스입니다. Many of the deepfake examples around right now are simply fun parodies or experiments to test the limits of this technology. However, it's becoming clearer and clearer that deepfakes might become a regular part of our lives, especially as more of the mainstream media is willing to accept and apply this technology. The Korean television channel MBN presented viewers with a deepfake of its own news anchor, Kim Ju Ha. This wasn't meant as a trick or to deceive viewers. In fact, the channel warned viewers in advance that the news reader would be faked. It was merely a test for the network's future plan of using deepfakes. MBN has stated that it plans to continue using the deepfake for some breaking news reports, meaning more AI-generated newscasts. Kim Ju Ha, the news anchor, still has her job, but this does call into question the future of what it will mean to work in the media. Will your employers own your appearance? Can they use your likeness and make you say whatever they want? And will it go on even after your death? The company behind the deepfake, South Korea's Deep Brain AI, has said that it's looking for media buyers in China and the US, leading some to fear that newsreaders may become obsolete altogether. But we can only wait and see. So far, every deepfake example I've shown you on this list either admits to being fake or has been flagged as such. They are either for satire, an experiment, and not explicitly intended to fool anyone. Not this clip, though. This one requires a bit of context. As it turns out, the president of Gabon, Ali Bongo, had been absent from the public eye for quite some time, leading many people to speculate about the health of the head of state. After keeping the public in the dark for a while, this bizarre video was released. It was a New Year's video address by the president that was supposed to lay doubts to rest. This didn't work. In fact, it backfired when the opposition party claimed that it was actually a deepfake. These were serious allegations and might have played a role in provoking an attempted military coup. This right here is a pretty good example of what could happen when deepfake technology mixes with the world of politics. If there's anything we can learn from this incident, it's that the mere existence of deepfakes means that any odd-looking video could be called into question, sowing seeds of doubt that could easily cascade into something worse. I'm not even exaggerating. The United States Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency is investing and researching into detecting deepfakes, while both China and the U.S. are discussing new legislation. But there is one thing that makes me different. I do not believe in my death. Speaking of faking a healthy president, deepfakes have advanced so far that they are now fully capable of seemingly bringing those long dead back to life. Agency GSP pulled off a headline-grabbing stunt when they resurrected the Catalan artist Salvador Dali as the host at the Dali Museum in Florida. 
Advertised as art meets artificial intelligence, Dolly Lives was created by pulling more than 6,000 frames from old video interviews and processing them through 1,000 hours of machine learning, creating a realistic depiction of Salvador Dali overlaid on an actor's face. This deepfake was created to show the sheer advancement in technology and a new level of lifelike interactivity. A total of 45 minutes of footage split over 125 videos allowed for more than 190,000 possible combinations of interactions with Dolly, each depending on the visitor's responses and even the weather. The sheer realism of this showcase proves that with adequate amounts of information, pretty much anybody can be replicated artificially and with a frightening degree of realism as well. If you enjoyed this video, you should click on a video on the screen right now. You'd love that one too. See you there.